Hey, what's going on, friends? In today's video, I want to share with you the first great sin of sales. <laughs> and I call it a sin because it prevents you from having success and, and, and having great relationships and closing sales. So I learned about this in my very first, I think it was my very first network marketing company that I ever joined. And I remember I was actually at a meeting and the, um, the guy that was running the, the meeting, uh, you could call him the, the leader, the mentor, right? And after the meeting, I was, I was chatting with him and he was kind of showing me some things and giving me some tips. And he said, he said, Paul, here's one of the things that you never, ever want to do. And he pulled out a white sheet of paper and he wrote down a word on it. And that word was assume. Uh, but when he wrote it down, he um, put periods between each of the, um, uh, the letters. And he said, do you know why you never want to assume, Paul? And I said, why is that? And, he, and then he t takes his fingers and he covers up parts of the letters. He goes, because it makes an, and then he covered up the last part of the word so that only ASS was showing. He says it makes a, and then he points at that, and then he covers up the two ends of it out of, and then in the middle, I could see a U, it makes a, you know, this out of U, and then at the la at latter part of the word assume, there was a ME, and he said, so this is what happens when you assume, it, it, it makes a, you know, ASS out of you and me. And I always remember that lesson and I've noticed it play out in my business in a few different ways. And I also notice people doing this and how it hurts them. And I want to give you just a couple examples. So um, one way that you assume is if you send something to somebody to look at, like a, you know, a link to a presentation or a product or, you know, a business or whatever, and you say, Hey, I think you're going to love this. And then you send the link, right? Um, how do you know if they're going to love it? Have you taken the time to get to know them? Do you know them well enough that what you're, you're sending them, they would resonate with? Uh, do you know their likes and interests? Do you know uh, all of these things? And if you don't, then what happens when you say, I think you would love this and you assume and you send, if you're wrong and people get that, it has the opposite effect that you want to have because they get this information and they're like, why would you think I would love this? This has nothing to do with the things that I love. And now they're repelled from you instead of drawn towards you. And there's a simple solution to never, ever do this. And the simple solution is you just ask questions. Um, you get to know people a little bit or if you want to send them something before you send it, just ask them, you know, hey, would you be open to uh, taking a look at this? Hey, I ran across this. Um, I kind of like it. Here's why I kind of like it. Uh, you know, would you be open to taking a look? And then you wait for them to say yes. And then when they say yes, then you send the uh, information. Now, I want to share with you one other example of how assuming plays out, plays against you if you do it wrong. And this is from my network marketing days, right? Um, and I still have a lot of network marketing friends. And so this happens to me from time to time. I was actually talking to, to a friend some time ago and he was telling me about how he had purchased this product from a network marketing organization. And he purchased the product, he liked the product, he was happy with the product, but after he purchased the product, the person who sold him the product is saying things like, hey, I really wanna get you on a three-way call with the company owner. And my friend is like, why would I want to get on a three-way call with the company owner? I mean, this is what he's thinking in his mind. I don't know if he said this, probably didn't because he wants to maintain good relationships, right? But he's thinking, I don't want to get on a three-way with the company owner. I'm not interested in the business. I'm happy with my business. You know, stop, pl please stop pushing your agenda on me. And again, what was happening in this scenario is the person was assuming that because my friend bought a product that he is now therefore pumped up and excited about the business and would love to get on a three-way call with the company owner. What's the solution? Ask. You know, you could say something like, um, hey, Paul, uh, you know, thank you so much for, uh, you know, buying the product. Um, you know, you told me you're happy with it. I'm so excited about it. So, so excited about that. Hey, Paul. Um, just out of curiosity, is the business side of what we do, is this something you could see yourself doing? And then wait for an answer. If the person says, yeah, I, I think I could. 
oh, okay, cool. You know, I'm happy to hear that. Um, hey, I happen to have a connection with the company owner. And, um, you know, if you're open and, and have the desire, you know, I'd love to make a connection so you can get to know them a little bit and ask them whatever questions you might have. Sure, I'd like to do that. Now you're working with the other person and what their desires are and what they want. And um, this is just so, so important. So anyway, I wanted to pass this along. Never assume anything in sales. Always ask questions. Always work with people in the way that they want to go. And I found as I've done this over the years, it has helped me to be much more successful in everything that uh, that I've ever done. So with that, um, hey, if you're not already subscribed to my email list, I would love to encourage you to subscribe. If you like this content and want to get more like it, pipelinemoney.com is how you can get on my email list. Uh, also, as a bonus, you'll receive my three free residual income secrets training. Um, really powerful lessons if you're interested in building residual income in your life. And uh, also, I have a seven video series that detail how I became the number one recruiter in my network marketing company. Um, and uh, these videos go into more detail into recruiting. There's some great tips in there for doing it with the internet. And if that's something that is of interest to you, you can grab that at onlinerecruitingsecrets.com. So thanks for watching. Love you, appreciate you. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. How does it feel when people assume things and project things onto you? Do you like it? Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video or podcast or email or blog post or maybe even one-on-one -on -one interaction. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.